we just got to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. It is, oh my gosh, I've wanted to come here ever since I first watched football. Like I have so much of my life is in football memories. Like every year I would go with my family to a Chargers game. I'm a super big Chargers fan. This year actually, the person who made me a Chargers fan is getting inducted into the Hall of Fame. His name's LaDainian Tomlinson. And for those of you who don't watch football, the next couple minutes of this vlog are probably gonna be extremely boring because I'm definitely gonna record in here. This is one of those videos that I'll wanna come back at in like a year and just watch because I'll probably, I don't know if I'll ever be back in Ohio, but I'll probably never be in Canton again. So to be able to finally see this, something I've dreamed of coming to see since I was a little kid. This is one of those bucket list things for me. So I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to finally be here and to be here when LT is gonna get inducted. I mean, he's not getting inducted today, but he is the class of this year. Oh man, I like, you can probably hear the excitement in my voice. I probably can't really stop smiling as I talk. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, so that's the class of 2017, and there's Ladanian. I hope I really pointed at him. It's so bright I can't even see. There's Ladanian. Right here, they have all the Maddens that have ever come out, and they continue all the way down. The, oh my gosh, they have everything here. Look at, oh wow. So, I'm not a Brett Favre fan, but look, they have his whole outfit. I'm taking this video with my B-roll lens. That's why I look super zoomed in. But when I was a kid, I used to collect football cards. And I'm in the football card hall of fame. They have cards that literally would have gone for thousands and thousands of dollars. And they have like 50 of them. It's wow. There's a distance between us. It's getting hard to reach out Haven't seen you in seasons But all I hear is your voice I know my limits, you can break me down but So this part of the Hall of Fame, it starts in the 1920s over there and it circles all the way around and then over there it stops at the 2000s. I mean, I when I was younger, I used to study so much football stats and so many just, I knew so many random numbers and stats about football players, but I obviously know more about my generation. So like, this is the like jersey that Breeze wore in 2011 when he broke pretty much every single passing record. If you don't really like football, you're gonna hate this, but I, this is just, I'm like geeking out right now. This is so nice. This is, you geeked out right now? Yeah, man, this is crazy. Like, football is probably the one sport that I like religiously pay attention to all the time yes. and to be able to see like pieces of iconic moments in NFL history in person is it's wild like it's hair raising stuff man. this is a Chargers playbook I can't believe it actually plays in it we don't really win that many games but I guess this is from a long time ago so so they have this thing where they have a like a Hall of Fame quarterback's hand molded on this ball so you can feel the way that they used to grip the ball. Some of these people have some weird grips, but they all also have bigger hands than I do, even though they're probably shorter people, because I'm 6'6", I'm six, six, so some of these people were actually shorter than me, but their hands are way bigger. Dang, look at these. I mean, these are, these are, not, these are Peyton Manning's. No, I'm just kidding, these are not any ones. You can just put them on. They're on this thing here where, depending on how tall you are, you can just adjust it to get it on you. Like, look, there it goes. So if you were like seven foot five, then these would fit you. That is the jersey that Tom Brady, one of the jerseys Brady wore during when he was six, yeah, he was 16 and 0. And that was one of the jerseys he wore. I don't know, all I know is there's two footballs underneath Brady's jersey. They're probably deflated, but they're signed by other people. That's weak. I mean, that's pretty strong, but that's because it's like, I mean, all right, you know, joke's on me. I got a, I got a lot more Wheaties to eat, I guess, before I get to, the, get to there. Look at the size of his hand. Oh my God. These are leg outlines of players. Look at this, what? <laughs> it's bigger than any part of my body combined. Look at this, look at my leg. I mean, I'm in skinny jeans, so it's holding me in a little bit. But, uh, I mean, I can get myself and my backpack and have, like, a lot of room left. 
Wow. So right now I'm inside the Hall of Fame gallery. They have everybody's in the Hall of Fame's bust, and they have a TV that has reruns of everybody's Hall of Fame speeches as they were getting inducted. But Danny and Tomlinson's gonna have one soon. And I've been counting days to get away. This room is pretty much all of like the modern day records that have been set and stuff. So you have jerseys like Antonio Brown right here, who's like one of my favorite players. Marshawn Lynch, Jadavian Clowney over there, Jay Ajay and Larry Fitzgerald. You got JC Lopez, Jaglarski. Yeah, everybody's here. Odell, this is the jersey that Odell wore during the one-handed catch. This is literally the jersey with the. Jay said he would buy it for 100k, but. I don't think they would sell it for a hundred grand. I don't think they can sell it. But even so, like I can't even imagine what that jersey's worth. Oh, I have been geeking out all day. It's like being here I almost wanna like I don't wanna say one want wants to make me cry, but it's it's hard to describe the feeling I have right now. Like a place I've dreamed of being able to come to my whole life, seeing these athletes who in my eyes have been immortalized ever since I was watching them on TV and to see a place where they are literally immortalized. This place will be here forever. It literally like almost takes the words away. I can't even describe what it's like to be in Canton. It's crazy. Some of you guys are gonna comment like, why are you on Canton Hall of Fame's dip? But like, it's so sick. It's a Super Bowl trophy, and as a Chargers fan, I've never seen one, but look at this. That's crazy. I don't know if it's for an actual team, or if it's just one that they made like an extra one so they could display one in Canton, but even so. That is, that, is, that is so crazy to see in person. I see myself in the trophy. I see Jay's beard coming out the bottom of the trophy. This might be one of the coolest things I've ever seen. So that's a picture of Santonio Holmes. If you don't know who that is, he made that toe tap catch in the Cardinals versus Steelers Super Bowl. This is his jersey and that's the pylon. I feel like I've fallen asleep and my hair looks like I've fallen asleep but I feel like I'm just dreaming right now. This is crazy. Here are the Super Bowl rings of every single champion. Like, these are not the rings that players got, but these are the exact same real versions of the ones that were given to all the players. And every player would get their name on it. These have like diamonds, I assume, and just, wow. And everywhere you go in the Hall of Fame, they have these things where they're on the wall called their values. And they have different words with different definitions that are quotes of like famous people that are in the Hall of Fame like Vince Lombardi, just things like respect, things like courage, just all kinds of words like that. This entire place has just a feel of, I, I can't describe it, but this place has a feel of like, where am I? Like, it's just, uh, wow. I think I've said, oh wow, at the end of everything I've said this entire time I've been touring this place, but that's literally the feeling I've got it. Every single object I've seen that is a piece of history, it's just like, I'm gonna be honest, sometimes it's not always about sneakers, so they have a Hall of Fame store here where they have like exclusive Hall of Fame stuff. I'm probably never gonna be back here again. I go to sneaker cons all the time. I, if it costs me Bape NMDs, it costs me Bape NMDs, but I definitely am gonna get stuff at the store. I, I have to, like I'm never gonna come back. It's something I'll remember for the rest of my life. I, Bape NMDs are, I mean they're really cool and I really, really wanted them, but the, being here has just made me I've literally like fallen in love with this place. I really honestly think this is the coolest place. I can't even imagine what it must feel like to be a player that's been inducted. Oh, here we go. So that is it. I'm leaving the Hall of Fame. I got just a lot of clothes and really bad lighting. All right, so we just left Canton. I was actually the only one that ended up buying anything at the gift shop because Jay probably wouldn't wear it. It had no Bape or Supreme logo, right? They didn't have anything in my size that was Giants gear, dude. Like oh, That too. They were super giants racist in there. They had no, I wanted to buy an autograph helmet or like an autograph jersey, but apparently, although like 200 New York giant bus heads were in there, none of their merch is autographed. 
I, I didn't even see any. Char I didn't see Chargers autographs either, but I'm not really surprised about that. Giants are definitely a more popular team than the Chargers are. I was kind of surprised they didn't have that much either, but uh, yeah, I was able to get stuff. I got. I more so got stuff that said Hall of Fame on it. I didn't get anything Chargers. I can get Chargers stuff pretty much anywhere, and I go to games and stuff. It was more about just getting like stuff that like is exclusive to there. So that's what I did. And now we're going to a sneaker store that hasn't opened yet. Are they? Is there a grand opening today, or is it not? Grand openings today at 7 p.m., but oh, okay. uh, they were gracious enough to let us go check it out before they're open. Yeah, yeah, so they, yeah, so pre-grand opening look, so that's probably good for the title of this vlog is. So, if you didn't like that whole Hall of Fame part, it's back to the sneakers now. So, we're at this new store, and they have these early. These are the Cause Jordan 4s. Possible thumbnail alert. These are super early. Look at that. Look at the back of those with the X. That's crazy. Like, Jay, when do you, do you when did these actually come out? A couple more weeks. Oh, so probably not even for at least the rest of this month. That's crazy. Yeah, these are super, super, super early. They're your size too, kinda. Nah, they're, they're big. If that was a nine, I would for sure like all day. I'm a cop those. That's a Jordan. I'm a cop. They got some dope stuff in here. Like they got a ton of sneakers. They got lots of cool like uh, clothes and stuff like that. Like it's a super dope. Oh shoot, he's got the butter movement shirt too. Shout out to Shoot Butter. He he always be hooking up with giveaways. If you don't know who he is, go check him out. They got these black cement three cleats, and they're signed by Josh Cribs, who is a football player who will not be at the Canton Hall of Fame, but. He used to be pretty good back in the day. He was returning stuff back in my day, which is like a few years ago. Not back in the day like like JC or Joni, who are old people. So this is this this is the guy's YouTube, one of the guys that works here. He's going to do a review on the Cause 4s that I just showed you guys. And they're super, super early. So if you want to see like the full review, I just showed them real quick. But if you want to see the full review, oh wait, go to this YouTube channel, The Collects, and go subscribe. Yeah, I'm definitely probably not going to get much of sneaker con tomorrow. I just made another pickup, Triple Black Ultra Boost 250. So we just left the, that place, and now we're at this place called the Basement Bar and Grill, and we're just going to eat some food real quick. Ohio is one of the colder places I've ever been. It's really windy. My mic's probably not even going to pick this audio up, but oh, wow, it's cold. I only wore one hoodie, which is really light. Jay's wearing only a hoodie, and regardless of what he says, I can tell he's freezing. So I'm at, we're at this mall now called the Southwood, Beachwood, whatever the heck mall it's called. Uh, the first shop we went to was the Foot Locker, and they didn't let me film in there. I, as soon as I pulled my camera out, they're like, no filming. So that's what I got. I got no filming, but now we're just walking around. I think Jay's about to buy some Girl Scout cookies. Jay, you trying to cop a dog? I was trying to buy two. Two dogs? But neither one of them wanted to pay attention. They were so. kind of little spazzes, I'm not yeah. going to lie. They were super spazzed out. Okay. Alright, so right now I'm in first place. I have put up that 49. But Jay used to own the shooter, so he's probably stroking it right now. Oh yeah, he got me good. Alright, so I haven't played football since I was younger, but I was a quarterback. So this game should come easy to me, but we'll see. Oh, you had to. Here's a real test. Here's a real test. Can you drain it from here? No. Oh. Scrambling. We're heading out of the mall now. Going back to the hotel. I gotta edit and upload the vlog that will be yesterday for you guys, because it's like six o'clock this time, so it'll be like a three o'clock Western time upload, which is usually when I upload. I didn't get much. All I got was a mini helmet from the Cleveland Browns because I heard that Joe Hayden might be at SneakerCon tomorrow. And if he is, I really want him to sign it. Like I'm just I'm a really big football fan, but I'm a big fan of his. Like he had a nice kicks video way back when. He's super into sneakers. He went to Florida. I'm not a Florida football fan, but like I'm just saying like I know a lot about him. I am a fan of his, even though he's on the Browns and not the Chargers or whatever. So it'd be super dope to meet him and have him sign it. If he doesn't sign it, that's 25 bucks that I'll never, uh, never see again. And I'll have invested in a freaking Browns helmet, which I'll probably just, by the end of the day, if he doesn't have it, I'll honestly probably just give it away to some local Cleveland person, like kid who comes up to me at the event. I'll probably just give it to him, because maybe he'll enjoy it. So we're at a mall right now. Uh, the whole purpose of the mall is to, uh-oh, he tried to like, you were gonna get me too, huh? He was gonna mess with me. I'm sure he was. What's up, dude? Hello, bro. How you doing? Okay. What's, What's up, up, bro? What's up, dude? How you doing? 
All right, so we, it's like 10.45 at night now, the night before sneaker con. I got to get to bed. I haven't even started editing this vlog, and I want to be able to post for you guys tomorrow, so I got to do that. I'm here with Joshy. Turn around, bro. What's going on, guys? But it's like the end of the video. I already know what they got going on. They've been watching this video for nine minutes or something like that. My girl is here right now. <laughs> so, oh, shoot, our Uber just showed up. So, yeah, so it's about a 20-minute ride back to the hotel. Let me go back in here, finish this up for the lighting. So, yeah, so... Senior con tomorrow, man. It's gonna be fun. Just finished up hanging out with Kais for forever. I, I don't know why I didn't record. That was dumb, but yeah, I did. So uh, I'll see you guys at Senior con tomorrow. Stay winning and make it happen. I'm out.